C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Speak Some More. My name is Soros88 and today, today we are still on the caves, still trying to explore the ancient city, uh, but uh, apparently awakening the, the warden every time we try it, <laughs> so I guess we will keep trying. I don't know if the warden is actually gone. Nope. Oh, he just went down. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. So, yeah, each time we go down here, um, the warden still spawns. And that's not fun. <laughs> um... The approach that I was thinking of having was like um, enveloping all of the uh, all of the sensors first, and then try to remove the shriekers. But I don't know if that's actually a good technique now. I think I might risk it. Oh God, what am I even thinking about? I think I might risk it, and try and destroy the shriekers first cuz yeah uh, I don't know man that's <laughs> <laughs> the the thing is I'm I'm terrified to go down there I'm terrified to to just be near the warden when it spawns because it will spawn and oh my god also there's a lot of of shriekers here there's three of them so I would have to like be very very careful. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Maybe we can do this. So if I'm if I'm correct, this is actually a setup in which uh, no sound waves will drop into this shrieker, right? So, hopefully. Oh shit, I just kind of shat my pants. So far, so good. Now, I want to try and remove this one. Okay. There's the there's the portal. There actually is a, a mine shaft here, which we will have to explore later. Okay, but so far so good. Let me see if I can get rid of these shriekers here. Oh, for the love of God, please, please work. One down. Two down. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous. Hopefully they will not despawn before I finish breaking this. So we are probably out of danger, probably, but just for good measure, oh, 
And I think there's another freaker down there. safe yeah I think we are oh dude that was so freaking stressful let's grab this once now I don't want to get too confident so I'm actually going to wrap around this thing just so no sound comes out. I do love uh, the structure of the shrines, like, you know, this kind of triangular structure and the candles and all that stuff. And the good thing I've seen is actually there's no mobs here, which I love. Okay, so let's see what we find. Ooh, this is good loot. Okay, 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 okay. Soul torches. Another skulk sensor. Some coal. Ward armor trim. Which is ingots and... Uh, well, no. I don't know if this is like a specific type of sun. I will have to investigate that. Amethyst, some more coal, and two diamond horse armor. So let me, let me grab my shulker. I think we're safe, so I will just do that. Um, <laughs> and let's uh, dump all of this here. Just for good measure, and I will try and empty all my stuff. And just have here what, what I actually need. Um, okay. Oh, well, we can grab, actually, the horse armor as well. Very nice loot. I don't think there's any sensors nearby so far, so I, I just gonna... Oh! Okay. Regeneration 2, nice. What is this? Echo shard? What is this used for? I haven't heard of this. Huh. Oh, and, and the disc fragment from the Music Disc 5. Two disc fragments. Ooh, ooh. Nice. I don't know how many do we need to actually craft the disc, but yeah, this is this is quite nice. So it's actually quite rewarding to, to open those those chests, which is nice, I think. <laughs> so let's again dump all of this here. Uh, this is what, Sick Touch and Unbreaking 3. Nice, pretty nice. Uh, I think I want to keep the potion. And you know what? I actually... Since we are not supposed to actually fight... <laughs> the warden and I do not intend to I will keep my tools here I will just keep the the arrow and the bows because yeah so let's grab this here and I think we're we're good um maybe here yeah I think I think this is a good layout <sighs> and this and this and I think I'm good to remove all of this wool hopefully because I do think I will need it
this I will leave because yeah, that's like our way out. But yeah, now now we can take a proper look at at this place. So this is like a nearby shrine to the main portal or the main structure of the city. So that's the center of of the of the re of the generation of the city. So yeah, I think this is actually a good place to start exploring. I would like to know where we actually found our previous entrance. Because yeah, it would be really helpful. I don't want to move too far. Yeah, there's there's shriekers. No, uh, there's sensors there. There's another sensor here that I didn't see before. And... I'm guessing for my current uh, position, I guess the other entrance that we found is over there. I want to think that. And I love that they have like blocks of wool here just in case <laughs> uh, you haven't like um, actually gathered some wool for yourself. So you don't go like... Uh, I mean, you get the the tools to navigate this this structure here. I think Mojang has done a, a really good job with these new structures. I really like them. So yeah, let's just try and start moving along again. Let me just take this. Oh, I destroyed it with the fortune pickaxe. I was I I meant to do it with the. Uh, Oh, I see another shrieker there. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're kind of safe now. For now, at least. Let's go down here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the cave sounds are freaking scary. just gonna be crouching all the time. So what's in here? Just wool? That's all? Okay. I don't know if if you guys are actually like reading. I don't know my voice, my breath, <laughs> my breathing. Uh, but I'm really, really nervous. I'm like quite tense here. What is this place? Oh, it looks amazing, man. I genuinely like a lot of these new structures and all of the new things that they placed here. I think we're, they're really nice. Okay, so now we're close to these ones. I think we better remove them carefully. I don't want to wake anything. Jesus Christ! I just told myself I, want, I was supposed to be careful. Okay, one thing to note that I didn't know, if you open your inventory while crouching, you will decrouch. Okay, one down. Another one down. Okay, okay, okay. 
so far so good. What I what I like to think about it's on the Minecraft lore who built these things? Who made all of this? <gasps> that was so fucking risky. I shouldn't have done that. Oh man. Okay, so there are a lot of these ones here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hand of, of this mechanic. Hopefully. So yeah, uh, I guess I will keep exploring, keep removing these things here, and if I find anything um, particularly interesting, I will show you. So here's a dilemma, these two are close together so I'm guessing I should first destroy this one but I also have this one here so I'm just gonna try and close off all way of sound getting in there. And I guess I'll just try and destroy this so I'll be prepared to run. destroy this one so we don't have any shriekers around okay and then we can destroy this one here okay okay now what I'm worried about is this like kind of cave that goes down there I think I can safely walk here because I didn't see any other shriekers or any other sensors. So yeah, I will just try and open this. But I, what I was talking about uh, that I'm afraid of is that uh, some mobs will spawn like down there and will come up here. Okay, let's see what this has inside. Okay, some lead, some regeneration potions again, some bones, some soul torches, and a compass. Huh, interesting, a compass. Okay. So let's quickly go here and just place some torches. I don't want anything to spawn inside here. And again, uh, just as a simple glance, I don't see any um, 
sensors or shriekers like here on the spot but you know I don't want to get too confident this looks like a tomb of some sorts interestingly and I don't know why these are uh, lit off but I would like to lit them up so I don't think I have oh I do have Flint steel, nice. Nice to be prepared. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, oh, here it is. Grab another shulker, and let's put this here. I think I need another one. This is like a more terrifying version of end raiding. Now that I think about it. <laughs> oh wait, but uh, I think I have torch souls here and bone here. Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is kind of kind of terrifying. Not gonna lie. But hey, diamonds. I mean, just two. By the looks of it. Okay. Still diamonds. Okay. So let's keep going. I'm just closing these paths off so I don't get confused of where I've been and where I'm heading. If anything happens at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> what? I don't get it. Do I have to be like one block down to lift them up? Well, nothing happened. It was worth the try. So let's keep going. Some lava lakes. We're that far down with a lava level? Okay. And what is this place? It looks amazing. I love this. So what if I go up here? Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, diamonds again. I think there's no sensors here. Maybe that place we would have to be more careful to approach. Yay, a little bit more. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Right. I heard it's a skeleton, I think. Okay, another kind of tomb of some sort. deep into this now and I think uh, this is actually a good spot to leave the episode here because if not it's going to be quite quite long so yeah uh, <laughs> we will keep exploring this uh, ancient city in the next episodes so if you are enjoying this and you like this adventure please stick around and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next episode see ya